Hope you guys had a good Saturday. We have had a long, busy Saturday. Yes, it's been fun though. Lots of fun things. Lots of fun things like shipping. And family pictures. That was fun. Is family pictures fun? I'm not sure that It not. was really good this time. Usually family pictures is like trying to wrestle, I don't even know, tons of something that it's not fun to wrestle. Tons of something. It's like herding cats. There you go. But the kids are getting older now. Yeah. And Jack is like on point when it comes to he's, pictures. He he's knows done how enough, to smile. Yeah, he's done enough Instagram stories and enough uh, YouTube videos he can be crying and then you're like here's the phone take a picture and he'll be yeah he's always on point and it was we got some really we got one picture i'm super excited about was harrington with the little boys one on each shoulder oh yeah he had each of them on on yeah. his shoulders one that little was boy fun. here and one little boy here um and we just did it low-key like i did not buy outfits i didn't even plan it in fact yesterday i found out that my favorite photographer was doing mini photo shoots they're like 20 minutes long and I'm like, all right, everybody block out this time period. And then about an hour before we had to leave, Zeb was cutting the little boy's hair. <laughs> yeah, they got and haircuts today. I was doing every, you know, getting everybody together. I'm like, the only requirements, you must wear jeans and a casual top. Yeah. No matchy matchy. So we'll see what happens with our Jamie's like, clothes. should I get you a polo shirt to wear? I'm like, it'll probably only ever be worn for pictures. So go right on ahead. <laughs> well, the shirt that Zeb's wearing is the one he wore in pictures and Harrington has a matching one, but only because they were on sale at Ross. It was not planned that way. It's just a plain old long sleeve, full column t-shirt. All right, you guys ready to see some stuff? Because we got a little bit. Kind of kind of our oh, usual... Fireworks are going off. <laughs> In case no, no cannons or gunshots, there's fireworks going off. Outside. Yeah, if you can hear, you that. hear that. So we did get some things. Jamie finally got a clock on her own without any coaxing from me. And what else did we get? Oh, well, I put it back, and you said that you would be able to take this out. I'm like, oh, what are you doing? What are you putting that back for? Because we never get clocks, and I love clocks. And she's like, they don't sell, but every time we get one, they well, sell. Let's show it to them. Yeah, show them the clock. It was twelve dollars, but I got it for ten because it had a. It's got a chip in this drawer. Last time on Wednesday, when I was holding things close so you guys could see, it was making the camera and the feed go blurry. So. Hopefully it's figured out. Oh, somebody says fireworks that they miss a holiday. We live by what it's called corn bellies and it's like the fanciest, best corn maze, corn festival, how, fall harvest festival you've ever thought of. And every Friday and Saturday, the entire month of October and every night of fall break, which started on Thursday this week, they do fireworks. It's Which great. is fine because it's actually really fun and we're up late anyways, but sometimes people complain. And it's a big display. Yeah, they go all out. It's, it's like, like the 4th of July, like every Friday and Saturday. If you night, lived in a right small now. town, it might outdo your 4th of July show. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> all right, so that the clock was $10. We're going to sell it. I'm going to take the clock face out and then we'll paint it. I might fix the drawer. I probably won't worry about it though. We'll give it a good distress. How much would you sell the clock for? $35. 35, all right. So I'm gonna have to be quick with my repairs. Okay, 39 to 95. <laughs> it has a drawer. Zeb was totally not in the mood for picking, by the way. I'm pretty sure I picked every single item except for maybe the embroidery hoop. Truth be told, I went into the thrift store eating my peach shake so that it didn't melt in the car. I don't know if that's against the rules, but I had it anyway, so I was focused on that. He was eating a peach shake. I was doing all the picking. So if you don't like tonight's picking, I guess you blame me. A fork and a spoon. Because <laughs> they're cute. These ones have an island feel to them. Hawaiian. They're going apothecary because Monday everything's being painted. Or I can't decide if on Monday we should paint all the small apothecary or mint chip mixed with white swan. All right, guys, look at this. I thought that maybe this had been left in someone's garage, but these were probably left above someone's stove. Can you see the fun <laughs> stuff on here that we're going to have to scrub off? Lots of warm, soapy water. Sometimes people are like, why do you mark up thrift store finds that you find? Because I'm going to have to scrub this. Sometimes you just fill up the tub with warm, soapy water and we have an assembly line. Just warm, soapy water. Thing. So they said, where do we find all these shelves from? 
I don't know why, but apparently these shelves were real popular here probably 10 years ago because we find them every week. Different varying sizes. Some are longer. This is a this is a long one. Yeah. And it's not as deep as the other ones. The other still ones, only five bucks. Still only five bucks. Some of them are like taller this way. I like them because they look like the old metal um, like tin ceiling. ceiling. Tins, yeah. So this one, the color's not bad, but it's painted with spray paint. So we'll paint it again and distress it and seal it so it looks a little better. It's like a really light babyish powder blue, if you can see that. Not not super. Somebody awesome. asked, did Zeb put the shelf in the cabinet? Oh yeah, we'll show you here in a minute. We'll show you in a minute. In fact, Zeb just, truth be told, like 15 minutes ago, he got that shelf in the cabinet. It's not painted. But it's in there. And I said, honey, they'll understand if you don't. He's like, no. I bought the wood on Thursday, and I knew it would only take me 10 minutes to do it, so I just threw it in. So it's done. It's done. Finished. So from now on, when I want stuff done, I'm going to call you out on YouTube, and then I can make sure it gets done. I don't know that that's always going to work. Do you know how I got him to put the towel holders in the bathrooms? About six months ago, the kids broke the little hand towel rings, and I ordered two new ones on Amazon. And he never put them up. Finally, I said, if you don't put them up, I'm going to pay a handyman. And he knows I will. So the next morning, you know, what he, words. you know what he was doing? He was handymanning himself. Kid. Putting those towel holders up. And it took you how long? Can't be having no handyman Ten in my minutes. house. Oh, and you also plumbed the new faucet. And 20 minutes later, I had towel, uh, towel rings and a faucet. You're a keeper. <laughs> Hey, you know what? In my defense, I'm very busy all day long. Like, I could fill every second of the day with work stuff if I wanted I'm to. I'm not busy. No, you have lots of time. <laughs> so full of garbage. All right, so this basket, probably also on, above someone's stove. It's all oh, greasy it's so here. Oh, so greasy. I almost didn't buy it. So I'm, I'm going to take a it. scrub brush and some Dawn dish soap, and the degreasing dish soap will just, gotta just cut like that off. And it's like an ugly reddish tone stained so it's gonna get painted but it's about the size of a really large dough bowl yeah we, we were like oh that's dough bowl size we'll get that basket it was eight bucks by the time we're done with it it'd probably be around like 30. 22 I would 23 say 30. 32 33 if, we, if i paint it it's gonna be 30 bucks oh yeah well if we paint it it'll be 29.95 and not a penny more <laughs> little basket with lid our little basket with the lid from last week sold, so I had to get another little basket with a lid. It's just the cutest little thing. I couldn't help myself. This one was $1.50. It's actually already got kind of a good color on yeah, it. Yeah, I won't paint it or anything. That's probably like $7.95. But this is, this is pretty fun. They make me happy. I have a basket problem. In fact, some lady saw me with all these baskets, and she was deciding she didn't want a basket, and she tried to give me one more basket. I'm like, I think I have She was basket. pulling stuff out of her car. She's like, do you want this? I decided that I've got too many. So we're like, mm, no, we'll pass. We have too many too. All right, so this had a friend at the thrift store that was the shorter. The was like the leaning tower of pieces. But like yeah, this. it leaned way over. And this is a little more ornate than we usually go for. It was $5. It's pretty heavy, large candlestick. But this will look so pretty, painted white with a wet distress. I've already got a few in the shop, so I'll definitely paint this one white so that way I can group all of them together. Yeah, so this will go well. It's got a little rust on the top. Someone probably kept a plant or something on there. And I that's tried to find more stocking holders because we told you last week we we're going to start trying to find them, but the thrift store didn't have any today. And we only had time to hit up one thrift store. So yeah, we're going to keep pictures. looking for stocking holders. Because I painted pictures. those two that we had last week and got them in the shop. This was two, $2, a little spice rack, probably get painted white or apothecary. Who knows? Who really $10 knows? $12 painted. It's just cutesy. Okay, and then this is a recipe card box. Look how look how homemade this one is. I love oh, it. Oh, you know what? I was gonna tell them that clock was a shop project. I don't know if you saw that, but it said period five on the back of it. Oh, really? Uh huh. Yeah. So some kid made that clock in high school, and this looks like another shop project. Yep, for sure. But you, you can it's tell. Got a feather on it. You can tell by the hinge system here. Yeah, we may have to. I'll I'll just probably actually nail those all the way in. I don't know why they're hanging out. Yeah, I don't know either. But. Little recipe box for mom. Somebody said they saw a clock. What would we do with this clock? We're just gonna paint it. You, you know, paint changes a lot of things, especially as that cute little drawer. Maybe change out the knob, give a little update. The reason we're so far away from the camera 
is because I've got a big chest underneath that we'll show you in a minute that we got off of KSL for our next KSL project for Jamie's DIY Life Expo. And we'll show you that. It's pretty roached. It, <laughs> do you ever get like one of those pieces and you're, you pick it up because you're challenged to see if you can actually save it? Yeah, we're not sure. It's touch and go. This we, gotta, is... we gotta fix it this week because the DIY Expo is next Saturday and the Salt Lake, or not Salt Lake, the Sandy Expo Center. So if you're from Utah, we hope to see you next Saturday. Yep. We'll talk more about that a little bit. Yeah, so that, that piece under there is that project that if hopefully we can save it. We've already finished one and I'm gonna have to find one more from KSL Classifieds because I said I was gonna bring three. Okay, so this, we picked this up because we were so inspired by our organization video that we did on the craft. Look at that, it's already got the fun little bins in there. It's got it's some a, ink in it, so we're gonna have to shellac it. It's a it little so tote, someone probably used it for spices or something on the counter. It was obviously for the kitchen at some point but that'll all go away. We'll either sand it off or paint over it and check out all that organization in there. Jamie, how much do you charge for a bed box? Between $22.95 and $24.95. Um, if they're really big, maybe closer to 30. Bread boxes sell very, very fast. So I get a good price for them. Little kid's stool here. It Hello. says, there's no place like home except grandma's. And while we love grandma, we're gonna paint that. So I'll get started on that while you're- Oh, are you gonna paint that? All right, but I need you guys, we're gonna, we're starting to incorporate Christmas into our booth. So I have Marquee by DIY Paint and Gypsy Green. These are the, this is the red and green that I'm gonna have in the shop this year. These are the, my colors that I'm choosing. It's a brighter red and kind of a muted olivey green. Which one should I paint my little step stool? I vote red. So tell me Marquee or Gypsy Green, or just say red or green, that works too. I'll paint it here in a second. Have we had any fun comments yet? Um, oh, they wanted, oh, somebody said that they thought that that tote was for silverware. I believe you are correct. Yeah, probably. Like, uh, like napkins in the back and silver, like plastic silver in the All front. All right, Caitlin, will you count the votes? <laughs> Just kidding. She's on there. Yeah, Caitlin, come on. <laughs> Caitlin, when you get a second, would you drop the link in there? Um, once we're done talking about colors, would you drop the link in there for the DIY Life Expo? Because I know. Back before I started talking about colors, somebody asked me for information. The DIY Life Expo is at the Sandy Expo Center next set. Your knee is. You can't put your knee there. Um, next Saturday, and we will be teaching from 10.30 to 11.30, and we will be in the KSL booth off and on all day. Redrick has a championship game. So in the middle of the day, after we're done teaching, we're going to go to the championship game and come back. So we'd love to see you. And I think it's like five bucks to get in and an extra $2 to take classes. And there's tons of classes. So for like $7, you can take DIY classes all day. Okay. All right. Because, because it's close to Christmas and we couldn't find any stocking hangers, we got a star. You going to paint it at all? Yeah. What you color? Paint it red. Or red green. or green? No, not green. It'll be red or white. Red or white. All right, Caitlin, can you let me know which color got the most votes? And I'll start painting. Okay, so we've got a shutter here. We tried to find a second shutter, but we could not. But I, there was one lonely shutter. I think it might be okay. Like, let's say we only had one shutter to put this sideways up the top of on window. What do you think? Paint it up. I don't know. I'm just gonna paint it and maybe somebody else will have a lonely shutter. It's gonna get milk painted. I'm gonna spray paint it brown and then I'll paint it with milk paint. And maybe we'll find its twin next week when they pull it out from their stock. Someone said to stencil a number. I'm actually gonna stencil Joy on here and do a little like wreath on each side. I'm gonna use my stamp. Well, not a stencil, all the stamps. There's like a... So if you've been following us since Caitlin, May... Hold on, Caitlin, did Caitlin comment? I don't know if Caitlin commented. Caitlin. She's probably looking up the stuff. Give, Caitlin, her, give her a color? second. All right. <laughs> I don't want to miss her comment because she's the one tallying it up. It doesn't have to be exact. Whichever one you think was voted for more. I'm going to wipe this off. All right. It's got residue. So. <laughs> Caitlin's counting. She's counting. Calm down. So I've got, I picked this up. I, if you watched back in May, we went to a Goodwill down in Tucson while we were at my sister's wedding. And I picked up a bunch of these. I have yet to do anything with them but I think I figured out what I'm gonna do with these. And I'm gonna show you if we get them in here and it should be pretty cool. Well, that's good because we bought those how many months ago? Um, May, so. It's been a minute. All right. So that, that was a dollar. 
I have to censor this. There's a... Uh, there's a half-naked Hawaiian on there. We're taking the picture out. <laughs> it was a PG channel. Anyway, so this is a fun frame. The picture will go. This was $2 for uh -huh. this frame. It didn't have a price on it. But it's already got some cool stuff on it. I actually think I'll probably just take the picture out, clean the frame, and maybe just put the frame in the shop. I don't know. Caitlin's still counting. All right, so the only thing I haven't showed you oh, is this. Oh, somebody said on the shutter you could close pin pictures or like yeah. Christmas cards on it. That would be cute. Or make like a shelf. Someone in the group made a shelf out of one. Mm. They had some random shutters, so they just Smart. put it up and used it as a shelf. Okay, red one. So I'm using DIY marquee. I don't have to sand my piece. I don't have to worry about it stinking because it's all natural, so I can safely use it in my kitchen. And in case you're new to our channel, if you're old, I'm sorry, it's one more commercial, but you can pick up this paint and this paintbrush at jamierayvintage.com. We should just start asking people, where can you pick it up? And they'll just start commenting. They'll start commenting, <laughs> jamierayvintage.com. So we've been getting these bigger baskets that are almost the size of laundry hampers. A, because people could probably use them like that, but B, they're just really cool for like putting blankets or something in. Like you could do a throw over the top here. Pillow storage if you're like yeah. me and you have 5,200 pillows. Yeah, if you're like Jamie and you've got 1,800 seasonal pillows that go on all the couches and the beds, you know, that sort of thing. It had a bunch of flowers coming up out of the top and Jamie did not like the flowers. So I left she, the flowers there. She ripped them out and left them there, but I got stuck with this gross I moss stuff at the bottom. I couldn't justify dumping that out at the, in the yard at the thrift store, but I did neatly take the flowers out and leave them there because I figured they can put them in something else. Maybe somebody would like them. They were not my style of flowers. I'm painting the underside of this. It's fast. It's easier to paint the underside. I guess I could flip it around so you guys could see it. All right, guys. We're up to my portion of the craft. I'm going to do some cool stuff with this. At least I think it's cool. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna be painting a stool. Cause hopefully it dries in time to stamp it. Marquee is a really great, that looks disgusting. I know, it's just moss and foam, like the floral foam. It's not really disgusting. It's just not what I want. Oops, I got my finger in it. I think I'm sitting on a stool that we've had in the garage for all, and I think that's gonna get painted red too. Hey. I wish somebody would buy my purple dresser because it's gonna be real hard to layer in red and green with that purple. Oh, I almost forgot. I got ready to do my craft. I need to show you guys this chest. Hang on. Oh, you guys, the library table that we didn't paint last week, sold. Okay, we're going flying. Close your eyes if you Sounds get seasick. Sounds like the first unpainted piece I've sold in a while. Motion sickness here. All right, so this is a really cool cedar chest, right? And it's got a lot of fun detail, but the veneer is all popping off. It looks worse than it is. This will just come off pretty easy for the most part. What holds on good, I'll just leave it on there and sand. The top is getting, it's got some weather to it, and it is completely missing this foot up here on the front that's supposed to look like that. Oh, you're gonna show them how dirty our floors are. Oh, well, yeah. We did some some fall cleaning on the pantry and Harrington left chips and stuff all over. So it's cedar lined. It has its original key and there are the pieces for the foot. So I think I can glue that back together and save this front leg and make it look like something again. The top, we may have to end up planking. You can see this big old dip here. Somebody asked if it was left out in the yard. That's where it was when we got it. Yeah, it's probably been outside for a couple winters up here in Utah. The sad thing is I paid 40 bucks for it, and I think I overpaid by $35. <laughs> but it'll be cool when it's done. So I'm going to move that so that I can bring you guys in closer. She wanted 50 and I talked her down to 40 I'm not really good at negotiating. Like I can negotiate a little bit, but I couldn't I couldn't say would you take five dollars for it when she was asking fifty. And I really wanted it. And sometimes when I really want something, I'm willing to let Zeb do a little extra repair. Because <laughs> I'm such a good wife. It'll be really cool when we're done. All right, I'm bringing you down so you guys can see what we're doing. So we're gonna be off camera for a minute here and you're just gonna see oh. our hands. Uh, oh sorry. Happened? I was trying to do a minimal, like, it's always interesting to, I, have to, I always start by painting all my stools and chairs underneath first, because it's easier to paint it underneath first and then do the top than the other way around. What do you need, Harrington? 
Um, can I have one of your pumpkins or money to go buy a pumpkin? So what do you need a pumpkin for? So we can carve them? No, not right you now. You can have a pumpkin, but nothing that's warty. What if I do a cameo? Oh. A cameo. You're going to you have to get way Put down. Put your head in there. Oh, yeah. Show him what your chin, where you got your chin strap. His chin strap busted him up on this game. Helmet. So he had a big old pock mark on his face for telling pictures. Yes, you may take a pumpkin. So you have to take one. one of the little white ones. Yeah, take one that's not all warty because the warty pumpkins are going to be hard to things. And you have to buy another pumpkin to replace it of equal or greater value. All right, guys. What else are you taking? Water? So I've got my embroidery hoop here. Hold on here. a second. Did you, get, did you guys make cookies already? Hang okay. on. All right, Jamie, don't get distracted. I'm he talking can, to my teenage boy. All right, he go. He can go. <laughs> One pumpkin. Where are you carving pumpkins at? People are saying, hello, Mini Zeb. He's actually oh, probably Matt. as big as I am these days. Where, whose house? Matt. Who's Matt? Jamie. Sorry, I gotta ask these questions. I already know these answers. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Sorry. I'm trying to tell people how to do the stuff. Okay, I'm quiet now. This okay. is just old brown paper that came to us in a package from Amazon or whatever. Okay, I got my embroidery hoop. I do not Amazon do- Amazon or whatever. We, we I do not, all paper. I do not do embroidery, okay? So I've got it just, I'm gonna stretch it out over there. Okay. All right, got my brown paper on there. Tighten this back up. And then I'm gonna trim that that other stuff off later, you know, just like you would fabric. And you can do this with a dishcloth or or whatever. I'm gonna use the brown paper because I think it'll be cool. And I don't even care that it's wrinkly. Okay. You're such a rebel. He doesn't even care that it's wrinkly. All right. I'm gonna paint this star while you're doing that. So I've got my little wreath builder here from the IOD stamp collection. Okay. All right, and where are the paper plates? Oh, that that was in with the milk paint. That's what Caitlin said, that brown oh. paper. Caitlin helped me ship yesterday, or she shipped. I don't think she helped me because I wasn't shipping. Although I shipped today. As soon as we get our milk paint stuff in for our sale, we'll get more shipped out. And we're waiting on IOD stuff. Oh, you guys. If you guys have not subscribed to our newsletter, you should do that because as soon as we get the new stamps up for pre-order, we we're, we're gonna send out an email and let everybody know that they're up for pre-order. We already have all the no, the IOD fall stencils up for pre-order and we're getting the stamps up. Caitlin's gonna work on that, I think, sometime between now and Monday. Okay, I'm hoping I can press the brayer down hard enough on this paper if not, I might have to pre-stamp the paper and center it and then stretch it. Oop, too much paint on that one. Did I ship yours? I don't know. We shipped a couple hundred packages. If, you should, if it was shipped, you would have gotten an email. I shipped out everything that we had. Everything else is waiting on shipments to come in. All right. This is not easy. This would be easier to spray. Somebody says, oh, Jamie says she loves the star in red. Yeah, this red is really pretty. It also covers really well. I did a dresser in it once and I did one coat and then did a heavy distress. We have a video on it and it covered really well. All right, so that did not press down super hard, but I was trying to be Ooh, careful. I like it. I'm gonna press harder on the other one. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that I like what you're doing because you're pretty talented. You're like a crafty guy, Zeb. You know, I had those other things. And I'm like, what can I do with them? When will we have the brayers in? We should have brayers in stock right now. Okay, so you can see I'm going a little over like onto the wood and things, which I think adds to it. Let me know, do you think it adds to it or? Princess Power, this red is Marquee. It's by DIY Paint and you can get it at jamierayvintage.com. All right, okay. Catherine says it's funny to hear us parenting while we work and we sound like her. <laughs> it's a true story. Well, when he's, you have a teenage boy, he's you usually forbidden to interrupt the live videos. You Zach know. kept trying to shush him out. I'm like, he's not gonna give up. He's, real, he's a very, uh, I don't, he's, I, he's very persistent. Persistent, that's right. He's good at getting stuff done. So I knew he wasn't going to give up, so I had to talk to him. All right, what should I put in the middle there, guys? Oh, thank you. 
What should I put in the middle? Princess of power with three P's. Jamie. Um, what? What should I put in the middle? What do you want to put in the middle? I don't know. I got my farm animals back out. Oh, you know what? I don't know. You're going to have to make that decision. I mean, it's, tough. It's, it's a piece of paper, so. It's a piece of paper, so it's practice. I'm going to put a farm animal on there and see how it looks in a wreath. You know, I haven't done the cow. It looks like, a, you know what? These are cute. And they could be like oversized ornaments and like hanging with string. Oh, maybe That'd I should do the cool, sheep. That'd be such a cool art piece. We could, take um, all the, we could take all the embroidery hoops and do different things and then hang them from the ceiling with ribbon and they would be ornaments. You're like a genius, Seb. The ornament idea was all yours. I know. But you're the one that came up with the actual thing. I'm just... Now we're going to not be able to find embroidery hoops. We've been... <laughs> so, so, so a lot of the things that we do on these live videos... Are on the fly. We... we we haven't been able to find them in the thrift store lately. We've had to be, been having to really dig. Yeah, we've been having to really get creative. The things that we normally like to buy has not been there. So if you think outside the box, you can pretty much make something cool out of almost anything. I like to think when I'm at the thrift store looking at stuff, I look at the shape and the material. Like, can I paint it and is it a cool shape? So when we do ornaments, we might do like some words or something. I don't know. Well, that's okay. Well, you can have barnyard ornaments. Okay, yeah. We're going to do a barnyard you know, theme. Bring in the manger theme. The manger. That's Could right. do like a whole manger theme of these. All the. Like the, hang them on, on your window wall. Our, our Christmas theme could be manger animals. Manger what? animals. We could say this star and we could use this for our star on the tree. Oh, that didn't go on very great. Hang on. No, I think that looks good. Oh, did you miss the, part I gotta of get head? the face. You I, missed the head. We're missing a head. It's a head. Let me sheep. see if I can line this up and get the face better. It's a headless sheep. I think once we really start getting Christmas stuff going, All right, I committed. A spray gun of red, because this is. Isn't there a red star in the office closet, Kayla? I don't, I don't know. Is there a red star? Well, that face just must be squishy over here. It's not as tight as it was. So in a perfect world, maybe do this before you stamp it on there. Or uh, it stamp it before you Let me see it. frame it. No, it looks good. That's cute. But here, I'm going to trim this. I'm bringing you back up. We have, yeah, or you could put a piece of like cardboard in there. I gotta go run to the office and grab some scissors. I wasn't prepared we for scissors. We have like uh, 52,000 embroidery hoops. How many embroidery hoops do we have? I think you got like six or seven. Zeb bought a lot of embroidery hoops. We went to Costco today. See all the fresh fruit? This is a good angle because if you looked on that side of our kitchen, you would see, well, behind all the stuff that we just put over there, that's where all the cookies are. I just refilled my cookie jar. And our Costco has pumpkin spice almonds. They're really good. Out of total random thoughts from me. I'm painting. All right, guys, I don't know that the sheep is a win on this, but you get the idea. You could do all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, somebody says you could put a book underneath it to make it tight. Oh, yeah, that would have, there you go, see? This is why we do this, so you guys can tell us how to do it better, because we need help. You think that we're helping you, but really, you're helping us. Well, and you know, on the fly, there's just so many things I can think of at one time and try to carry on a conversation. <laughs> Sarah says now she wants cookies. We got you should just come on over. We have cookies. I bought M M cookies and we have some Moa cookies and then I bought my favorite frozen cookie dough from Ruby Snap. I got chocolate chip cookies. Alright, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna show you guys the rust remover. If you've seen Wednesday's live video, I used some rust remover. Oh, also review on the bed. Oh, yes. So here's the problem with the bed. There's a serious issue with this bed. It is too comfortable. We don't want to get out of bed. Zeb goes to bed and then he wants to... Are you showing him that? Yeah. Zeb usually goes to bed, I fall asleep, then he gets back up because he's a night owl. And he, he's been falling asleep. Yeah, I've just been going to bed. I feel like, do you wake up more rested? I feel like I get better sleep. Yeah. It's a really awesome bed. I'm not going to lie. They didn't pay me to say that. It's a really good bed. So my review after sleeping on that bed a week is it's good. What do you say? 
yeah, no, no back pain in the morning when I wake up and I'm sleeping really well through the night. And in case you're wondering what bed it is, because I haven't mentioned it, it's the Dream Cloud mattress and we have a king size and we love it. So we'll drop the link below. You could save $200. I don't know if Caitlin has the link. If she doesn't have the link, we'll drop it when we're no longer live. But it, you can save $200 and get yourself a good night's rest. All right, here's my star. Okay, we got the star and the sheep, and now I'm gonna show you the rest stuff because it worked. It worked good. Connor Wells, can you try to do videos earlier because Michigan, it's 10 at night and I have to go to bed. Connor, I love you, but any earlier and it interrupts the rest of our Saturdays. But you can always watch the replay or catch our Wednesdays, we go live in the morning. So we have our nighttime live that we do on Saturday and then the Wednesdays we go live in the morning at, what time is it? 10 30, our time. Mountain daylight time right now, it'll so, be standard time so it'll be once time. it rolls over. Did Dream Cloud give us the mattress? Yes, they did. They sent it mm -hmm. to us to review. Yep, and it's been great. Okay, so... I missed a spot. So I left this in here. It says to not leave it in there for about 48 hours. I left it in. This has still been in here since Wednesday. You can see how dark. This was clear like water when I put this in here. <clears throat> Almost forgot. Lori Mater said, could you... Use the new green paint as a dry brush on the red. You could. That would be cute. I would probably do a white dry brush if I was going to do any dry brush, but I like to keep things. This, this star has a lot going on it. So, All right, so what brand of rust remover is this? So this is Metal Rescue is what it's called. And I've got their dry coat rust preventative. But I wanted to show you. I've got, it's not toxic, but I've got these gloves on because... I did get a little on my finger earlier and it got it black, so. But if you, do you guys remember a few weeks ago when we showed you how rusty all these tools were? So I wanted to show you here. Where's the paper towel? Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't fully prepared. We're never fully prepared. <laughs> okay, I, so, I I've, so this black stuff here that's all along this side was rust. And this is the side I've wiped off. You can see it there. But it turned that rust all black and it just, it wipes off pretty easily here. It's crumbling off. I'm gonna take a wire brush to them when I go outside, but it, it worked really well. And this was like nasty gross up here on this. So if you have something that's rusty that you need to get clean and not rusty and you don't wanna use like a bunch of harsh chemicals, this worked really, really well. Now they did warn, there is a warning on the packaging. If you leave it in for a long time, it will turn your metal a different color. Like it'll darken it up, which it, uh, they weren't kidding. It's, it's a yeah, lot we, darker. Yeah, we left it in since Wednesday and it's only supposed to be in there 48 hours. But. But they're no longer rusty. They're no longer rusty. Once I hit these with a wire brush or some steel wool. What was this wool, called, Seb? What was the brand? Metal Rescue. Metal Rescue. Here, I'll show them, show them the little package there. But here, watch this. And I believe you can pick this up on Amazon. So if you want to see how bad rusty these were, if you haven't watched our Wednesday video, I showed people before I put them in, and they were gross. And once I wire brush these and still wool them, they're going to be awesome. And then they also sent me this dry coat which I have not tried this out yet, but they say that this keeps your stuff from getting more rust on it, and it also helps keep it from getting like gummed up. Like if you use oil or WD-40, a lot of times it'll get dust and grime and sawdust or whatever you're doing in there. And they say that this dries out, keeps the rust off, but doesn't make them all grimy. I look like my hand is bleeding. <laughs> yeah, and it's on my iPhone watch, my Apple watch. What? It's just on the, it's, it'll come off. It's just on my band. I was thinking about getting a really cute band for my Apple Watch, but then I realized that my life doesn't lend itself to cuteness, so black is how I go. So I just pulled these out. I wasn't even able to open these. They're a little stiff right there, but I wasn't even able to open them, and that's before even like cleaning them up. Sally Griswold. I was like, who is Sally Griswold? I never paid attention to her last name before. Just Sally from IOD. Um, yeah, Sally's on, and she says, 
watching me stamp while ignoring her instructions last week. Um, she was making her want to pull her hair out, but she couldn't comment. So guys, um, Sally is on here. She is from Iron Orchid Design. She actually, her and her sister Josie own the company and create all the stamps and the transfers and all the products we've been using with IOD. So wait, I didn't get any instructions. What were these instructions? Because honestly, you should probably give them to me because I'm the stamper. We ha we had a stamping lesson. Do you not remember that when we were in Nashville? Oh. Well, I used no. I totally did. So Sally says you there. should put cheap muslin in those hoops. That would oh be yeah, that would be cool. Or drop cloth. That's my go-to. Honestly, I was just winging it just now. Yeah, we didn't have any, so paper was it. Yeah. We are naughty stampers. <laughs> <laughs> We break all the rules, Sally. Next week, Sally and Josie are both going to be teaching us at the IOD uh, training for two days. So hopefully they can instill some good stamping skills in me. All right. Is that embroidery hoop done? Yeah, it's done. It's done. I, I, I mean, I we'll probably it. redo it. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was scrap shipping paper. So we'll probably put some fabric or something in there, like pre-stamp it, center it up, you know. Probably take the paper out, put it on a flat surface, stamp it. What you could do so you would know how big to keep it in, you could like trace it with a pencil. There you go. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you craft on the fly. Okay, so we need to do that sign over there. Oh, we have more signs, that's right. We painted these earlier and they're in our video that'll be up Monday. Oh, and that tray. Do you want to do the tray first? Or I don't know. Yeah, today and yesterday we painted, and we're going to have a video all about us painting smalls. People like to see everything you painted. All right. <clears throat> if I lose my voice, the boys have been sick, and I feel it coming on, so watch out for that. Okay. The pig toolbox. I feel like your red is really just kind of it's all over this. It's everywhere. Sorry. It looks like a crime scene. Here, open that up for me, please. Who is Jeb? Jeb is also known as Zeb. So we're mixing it up. We're using essential stencils, and then we're going to be using IOD stamps. And we're using the brayer. Are you going to use the brayer on this, or are you going to use a foam roller? I'll probably foam roller that. Okay, so we, we can ask all the time about the brayers and the foam rollers. I like to use the foam roller on stencils, and I like to use the brayer on stamps. Because I feel like the foam roller, if you're not careful, will get paint down into the stamp. And I like this, it says, oh, I'll put it backwards. We should probably cuddle. This is from Essential Stencils. If you use code Jamie Ray Vintage, you can save, I think, 1%. There's red on this now. So how red on what, where? This. That's oh, all right, we'll fix it later. It's I'll sand it off. I know, I know how to fix it. Zeb, Jeb, yeah, he gets that. He gets called Ed a lot. Oh, you've got the paper towels over here. Um, Odelia says, yeah, he's also Mount Dad Hazel, LOL. I think she meant my dad. Okay. Where's that foam roller at? Um, we have too much going on tonight. It's been a productive... Uh, you talk, I pulled it out. It was in the craft closet. The foam roller. Oh, I think I have it back here. Did you guys watch our craft closet cleaning video? I was so embarrassed because I showed you guys live my dirty clo craft closet. And so we decided to make a video cleaning it. Because if I don't make a video, it never happens. Okay. Do you want to tape this or are you just going to hold it? I got tape in the craft closet. I can find it. Hold on. Okay. So this is Fairy Chalk Mother Best Black. Important difference on this between the DIY paint. When we're stenciling, we've kind of gone to the Fairy Chalk Mother because it does not powder as much because it's not as pigmented. So it won't get the rest of this as dirty when we go to distress it or sand it when we're stenciling. And when we stamp, we, we like to use DIY Best Black or DIY, sorry, Little Black Dress. I'm saying the wrong thing. Man, don't mix that up. Uh, it's, it's late. Um, and we use DIY little black dress on the stamps because I like the way that that turns out a little bit better. And we usually don't distress our stamping because yeah. they're pre distressed. I'm getting red everywhere. I have to wash my hands. They're pre distressed. The way Sally and Josie make the stamps is they already look distressed, so you don't need to sand them. Okay. 
Everybody said that they watched it, and somebody says it was nasty. Oh, that was Odelia said it was nasty. It was nasty. You know what's nasty, Odelia? Your closet. Go clean it. All right, I'm washing my hands. Keep calm. I, I can't touch anything else with this red paint. Maybe I should have worn gloves. All right. Just going to put some tape on the four corners here. Can you guys see that? I'm going to bring you back down. Can you tell them what this is? It's just an old... Lip, so, or something. so we thrifted this and it had a picture on the front originally it's it's just paint it was just painted on like particle board or whatever the the backer board that I use for stuff and we painted it white with the intent of oops that's not going to be centered stenciling it with the intent of stenciling it and we're finally getting to that all right, the crime scene has gone off my hands. Hang on, guys. All right. I think I'm just going to do the two corners and hold well, that Julia down. Julia said she can't clean her closet because she's babysitting. I, I remember. I didn't forget that. Well, actually, I did forget that. But you're just down the street. <laughs> okay, so I got the foam roller. answering questions good we need someone to answer questions I don't know for what us. she got asked to stamp pillows do you wash the material first um I so when I've stamped pillows before I usually use drop cloth and make my own pillows and I do wash them and I do not put softener in them then I iron it sew my pillow and then I stamp my fabric and then I use an iron to heat set it and I have a pillow. I can show you a pillow I used chalk paint on two or three years ago. She's gonna go grab that pillow. We chalk painted this with Fairy Chalk Mother. Yeah, this is this was with gunmetal at least two years ago, maybe three years ago. And proof positive, it stays. And I love it on drop cloth because it's really porous and it soaks in there. This is a st uh, stencil that I actually made with my silhouette back when I used to use my silhouette a lot. I don't anymore because I'm lazy. I use pre-made. But anyways, in case you're wondering, it does hold up. All right. I like, we're going to be doing, we're going to be using stamps and all kinds of things on pillows because we're going to be making throw pillows for the holidays for our living room. Okay, let's see. I may, it's the reason I'm going to have to distress this is because these are so fine on these essential stencils because they're so detailed. Sometimes it's pretty small and the foam roller doesn't want to get down in there. So I I'm having know. to push a little bit hard to get the paint down on there. Okay. So somebody said it when you use ink on the stamps instead of paint, do you still have to wash the stamps after you use them? <clears throat> oh, that's a lot of paint on there. It's okay. It's legible. Sorry, right, we'll make it. When distress. I distress it, it'll be it'll be golden. Sorry, I shouldn't have made that sound. It's just the probably is a little, but the cuddle's good. Okay, it's backwards, <laughs> but it says we should probably cuddle. Voila! But yeah, I wash them after whether I use ink or paint. I will always wash my my stamps. All right, what are you what are you doing with the brayer? Don't worry about oh. it. Oh. We're, so now we're switching over. So we used an essential stencil, but now we're going to use an IOD stamp because we've got this area here and here Where did my that's stamp go? empty. And the wreath stamp set is really good for filling in areas of signs. So Zeb is going to put that on each side of this. Just watch. Just watch him. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. I have nowhere to set this. We've got too much stuff going on. Hang on. So in my defense, when you guys showed me how to do this, you were using foam brushes and I, there wasn't a brayer involved. Yeah. So I just figured this out on my own. The brayer, I have to say, I've used a bunch of different tools on the stamps. When you're applying paint, the brayer really is the best. This is going to be a mess. We got Jamie's red all over everything. We'll have to touch it up. It's okay. Do, 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 do. Tickle, tickle. Are we doing it right, Sally? Are we doing it right? I thought I was only supposed to tickle the crack lure. 
Yeah, you guys have, when you put the paint on, it has a, it dries really fast. So make sure that you get it stamped pretty quick. If you're using, oh, that's cute. Too much paint there. It's okay. If you're using ink, you have a little bit more time than paint. If you're using paint, you gotta, you gotta get it down there quick. Even gentle pressure. I would say that was even and gentle. Okay, let's see. Zeb loves the wreath. Yeah, we do. I will use the wreath a lot. Do, 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 do. This is gonna be cute. So what we'll do when this is all dry is we'll take a sanding block and lightly distress it and that'll make some of the imperfections look better. And then we'll put it, we'll seal it with a big top, DIY big top, and then we'll put it in the shop. Cute. Okay. All right. It's backwards, but there you have it. And that took only a matter of a few minutes. So with this particular one, I would say this, if you're using a foam roller and your detail on your stencil is that thin, just use a brush because you can see where I had to mush it underneath and where I was mushing over here, it mushed over here too. So, you know. Yeah, most of their stencils aren't that thin, but that's okay because all we have to do is just distress it and it'll look good. I promise. All right. Sally says the wreath looks fabulous. We're not surprised. All right. Um, can you get me the letters? Yes. This is, this is mostly dry. We're going to stamp it anyways. I need the letters and uh, the wreath. We're going to do joy. So I need J-O-Y. Do we want to do little uppercase or lowercase? I don't know. You can build the whole word without having to reuse the letters. I know. That's why I picked the word joy. If you use a, a word that has multiple letters, then it gets interesting. But in this case, I only needed J-O-Y. So let me lay it out and then I'll decide. I think the lowercase is cute. You with your foot today. Me with my foot. My foot. My foot's in the way. <laughs> I've, Every time I get up, she kicks her foot over here. I just cross my legs and it happens to get in there. All right, we're going to go with Joy. So I'm using the typesetting stamp. Is that Y backwards? No, but you have oh, the J backwards. Oh, because it goes backwards. like this. Yeah. No? Is that Jamie. how that goes? Jamie. Sorry. It's been a long day. Do you know what it's like to get seven people to smile all at the same time for family pictures? So you put it down. Okay. Can you guys see oh, that? Oh, somebody says get small makeup foam wedges for small details on your stencils. We are going to do that. Next time we'll be prepared. And Sally says she loves imperfect. We love imperfections because it's part of the handmade charm. That is what I'm always saying. Yep. The imperfections are the human element, and that's what makes it beautiful. All right. Zeb, that's why you're a keeper. Can you stamp that for me, too? Let yep. me get you a paper plate. I have one. Well, oh, what color are you wanting? What? What color are we doing on that? White. So the oh, I, I'll ch I got another foam roller head. We'll shoot oh, I'm out. gonna foam roller it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna bring it. Or I foam don't. Roller it? You know what? You bring me a weapon, and I will use it. All right. Why don't you load up? Why don't you get the wreath that you're gonna use out, and I'll wash this right here. Should I do the wreath all at the same time? Oh no, I can't because I only have one side. Yeah, you have to do it separately, but maybe a smaller wreath. I'm going to do this smaller one that's kind of... So, on the wreath, I'm going to do this smaller one here. And... I just go get another brayer, but we don't have... I like it because it's got kind of these... Uh, I don't know, what kind of leaf would you call that? <laughs> they're, they're scallop, the scallop kind of leaf. leaves that go on trees? They're, no, there's all kinds of names for leaves. But it reminds me of... Uh, Christmas the funny thing is I just scrubbed the sink out and bleached it and now it's got paint on it again. Story of my life. All right, so let me get you a paper plate. Sorry, there's nobody on camera. We're coming back soon. Where did Harrington put the paper plates? They're behind the microwave. Oh. Sally and Josie. I'm going to season it. Yeah, we... That's for you. I don't know that we've seasoned those letters. I did. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah. where's the white paint? I had white swan out. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I'm using a DIY white swan. Except for I got your red all over this. <laughs> and you gotta uh, be good at it because we're not we're probably not gonna do much distressing. So. When we 
the last time we painted something red was probably about this time and last it, year. It and the red rug. was everywhere. Don't distress in your house. That's the problem. All right, so we got, got paper some white. plate. DIY white swan. We're going to get some acrylic blocks here Did soon. Did you wash this? Yeah, for our brayers because that's more eco-friendly than paper plates. But we have not remembered to get the acrylic things yet. Things, whatever it's called. I need like another plate to get the excess off. Okay, do not sand on the mount side. So the sticky side, if it sticks to the plastic, yeah. don't sand that. Yeah. Only lightly sand the one side. Yeah, you want the mount to be nice and sticky. Okay, it that. says you're supposed to sand them before you take them off the sheet that they come on, Zeb. I don't think she showed me that either. I feel like I've been led astray. <laughs> I'm teasing. You guys are great. Sally's a control freak, and she says we're like, hey, run, we're running with scissors. But see, Sally, you're not here. Next week, you can teach us all the things at IOD training. I want to call it IOD boot camp, but it's IOD training. Did you stamp that already? It's going. Are you sure it's centered? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna fix this right here. <laughs> oh, you lost o. an O. I lost the O. O down. O. The J is a little, that's okay. Because so what happened is her red wasn't dry yet. Look, I got a bunch of red. I told him it wasn't oh, dry. There goes that O again. There goes again. the O. <laughs> Go get it. It's on the it's carpet. It's okay because I'm not gonna, now I don't have to distress it. Perfect. Backwards joy. All right, now we're gonna do the little, it's gonna be so cute. It's yodge. It's yodge backwards. Okay, now we're gonna do the wreath on this one. Okay. So because this is already kind of distressed, because I- I got this dusty, I gotta wash it. It's not sticking. Because this is already kind of distressed, when I go to distress this piece, I'll actually just distress the red and leave this stamped part alone because it's already perfectly imperfect. Okay. So if your if your stamp's not sticking good, wash it. I touched it with my dusty hands. Where can you buy the cuddle? So that is a stencil. You go to essentialstencils.com and when you check out, use code Jamie Ray Vintage and you can save 10%. And when the video is no longer live, we'll drop the link for essential stencils below. Hey Jack's sneaking around back behind. Are we doing the wreath in here? Nope, it's all going white. Hold on, Jack. I gotta do some precision work. Green would be cute, but in this case, we're we're doing white. Cause then I'd have to wash the brayer. Jack, don't mess with Dad. Jack, don't mess with Dad. He's stamping. Look at the camera and say hi. Hi. Tell him that you got a haircut. I got a haircut. Can you guys hear he's sick? sick? He's got a little frog. You got a frog in your throat, Jack. Don't pick your nose on camera. Don't do that. I don't have what? You don't have a frog that your voice sounds like you have a frog. Here, come here. You can sit on my lap. I'm not stamping. <laughs> okay, you guys are going to bump me, though. Okay, don't bump Dad. Okay. Yeah, your dad There's is like a moment of silence dad. while I do this. Yeah. Did, you, did you hold still while Dad cut your hair? Yep. All right. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. Show them. Ta-da! So once this is all the way dry, we'll distress the sides and then I'll either clear wax it or just spray a coat of Big Top on it. I know, sorry, it was, I didn't have time, it's live. We didn't have time to let it dry all the way. All right. But it's so cute and now it's done. Okay, now the last thing we have is that tray over there, but you oh. better wash your hands. It's the crime scene going on over here. You got your red everywhere. I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can do it. I am I feel like we can. I feel like if you dig deep, you can. Do you think dad can? We got like 18 different colors. All when, these stamps need washed. When wash. you break your toys, who do you, who do you take them to to fix them? Who fixes your toys when they're broken? Yeah. Dad does. Does dad fix everything? Yeah. Yeah. They never, do you bring your broken toys to mom? No. No. Only dad. Only dad. Yeah. Hey, where's that other thing? Pick? It's right there on the on the oh. church pew. Ooh. You okay. are digging into me. Yeah. All right. Okay, so this is the tray that I initially stamped with the chicken. Somebody says, don't I have time to have another child? Nope. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, we actually recently discussed that. And we're like, yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> We, it, it comes up like once a year. We're like, we're done. And then we'll talk about it. And then we're like, no, we're done. It's I'm been... 36. I'm not young. 
And I already have five kids, and my oldest is 16. Are you making faces on the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you want to go do something, or are you going to just sit here? You, people think my faces are silly. Hey, people think your faces are silly? I think they're silly. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, guys. i got to wash some stuff. You're going to get red paint on it? No, he doesn't have any red paint on him. Watch the Jack show. The thing about the DIY paint is that it washes really good, so we're good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, she says you can set up a station and you can like use them over and over again. When we're doing like the same design over and over again, we get everything all ready and we do it like we just mass produce. This is not a mass produce night. You, we could be the Duggars. That is not even funny. <laughs> that poor woman. We, we cannot be the Duggars. We are the Rays. We have five children. Hold up your fingers. Five. See, just one hand. We'd have to buy a big, bigger car. Durango only seats seven. All right. Okay. Um, Dodgers won. Sweet. What are we putting on this? Can I told I, you you had to make the decision. Oh, I'm going to do an animal then. The cow. What if you write the word farm and do a cow? Or have we done a chicken? Like, have we? We've been doing the cow? chickens a lot. We haven't done a cow. Okay, we'll do a cow. Yeah, because you haven't done a cow. We haven't done a cow? Yeah, before. Okay. And this video is going to be really awesome. Caitlin says that I'm going to need three of her if I have more babies. This is true. Yeah, once I was a baby. Put moo and a cow, Caitlin says. All right. My mom had me when she was 43. So I always tell Zeb there's plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> I have six. Seven more years. All right. Can you go watch TV in the other room? Oh, you guys can't see again. All right. I'll move it back down. I'm going to move it down so you guys can see. It's a long live. You guys are getting a full hour tonight. All right. This is the last project, we promise. So we're using the farm animal stamp. And if you're wondering where you can get the stamps that we've been using, the, the letters and the wreaths and the farm animals, you can get them all at jamierayvintage.com along with a ton of other stamps. And we should be having... Sally's on here. Is Sally still on here? Sally, are the new stamps shipping next week? I'm going to put you in the hot spot. I know they were scheduled to, but anyways, the new stamp should be here in the next week or so, and there's going to be some fun ones coming up. So make sure you sign up for our newsletter, or you can go on our website. By Monday, we should have all the new stamps up that are coming, and you can pre-order them. Look, there's Jack's head. You can also pre-order our transfers. They're all up. All the new transfers are up. All right. We're I'm prepping. Hurrying. I'm hurrying, guys. He's using the brayer, which you can also pick up on our website. And it's so cute. It says Iron Orchid Designs on it. Ta-da! They did a good job. And then what paint are you using? So I'm back with the DIY. The little black dress, yeah. Yep. So when we're stamping, we like little black dress, and when we're stenciling, I wind up using fairy chalk leather. Don't ask me why. That's just what I've gone it's to. It's because like of the it's dust. Because of the dust. I don't just dress, I don't, har very seldom do I ever distress these stamps, because they look so good, they don't need it. All right, cow. Are you gonna leave room for a word? Are you gonna uh, oh, put the cow up top and the word farm below. Okay. Caitlin is working. Yes, Caitlin is working. She is a, I told her the other day, I told Caitlin Chambers, she's the one that's commenting on here. I told her she was a machine because I was in bed and she was still working late into the night. <laughs> oh, I missed the butt. Not enough paint over there. Oh. Don't look, look away, that's Sally good. or Josie or both of you. Look away, Sally, look away. Look away. Um, Sally says she ordered some of the GF extender to try it with Debbie's paint for stamping to see if it gives her more open time. We stamp pretty fast, so I haven't had a problem with it, but if you were a slow stamper, I could see where you might need some flow troll. Don't shift it, Zeb. She's watching. It looks perfect. I did a shift. There is no shifting. Ta-da! That is good. 
All right, now we're gonna stencil the word, we're gonna stamp the word farm below, and then our project will be done. Okay. All right. If you are distressing under your stencil and you're using DIY products, for sure, seal the base coat with DIY Big Top, let it dry overnight then, or at least blow dry it so that way it's set then use the color on top. So that way when the paint powders, when you distress it, it won't get into your whites. So yes, if you paint the base coat, seal it, then stencil or stamp and distress, you should be good. Or are we doing big farm? Yeah, we're going big farm. Go big or go home. I, I couldn't really fast, I couldn't. Oh, you've got them over there. <laughs> you've yeah, got the lower cute. case. That's all right. Out. Well, it, are you gonna freehand it? Or are you, I think it's easier if you just do one letter at a time and just put it on by hand. No. No? Okay. Can't be responsible for that. Sally, tonight. should he should he mount it or should he do it freehand? It's mounted. It's, it's mounted. going mounted right now. I'm committed. What do we use to clean the stencils? So the paint that I use is all water-based. If you clean them right away with just warm water and a little like Dawn, Jack's waving at you, it'll they'll clean up really well. If you're using something a little bit more harsh, I'm not sure what you would use to clean it with, but all the paints that we use, just soap and water. That's all I clean them with. Yeah. Gonna do some more braying. Sometimes if I'm doing a lot of projects, I just fill my sink with warm water and when I'm done with it, I just throw it in the sink and then I can get to it when I'm all done. I don't have to worry about the paint setting. The longer the paint sits, the, you know, the harder it is to get off. It's gonna be cute. Yeah. It might need a wreath too. Press it down. Press it down. You're the stamping king. <laughs> You're the stamping king. Okay, I shouldn't sing. Yeah. Jamie yeah. says, hi, Jack, all the way from Oklahoma. Do you know where Oklahoma is? Nope. He says no. Here, put your head down and say hi, Jamie. Hi. <laughs> so say hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> what? There was a nut. What? There's another Jamie? There's lots of Jamies. Like, there's more than one Jack, right? Yeah. There's not just one Jack. Because yeah. you have a grandpa named Jack, too. It's a Hilton. Oh, that's cool. Ta-da! Done! It looks like I spelled farm wrong, but I didn't. This is the one he stenciled. He stamped last week with an unpainted. Two weeks ago with Ty. Yeah. He well, tried to stamp this while it was not painted, and we washed that off and repainted it. It always looks better. All right. All right. Tell them where to find all the stuff and to subscribe. We gotta go. Okay, so you can get all the paint and the stamps at jamierayvintage.com. Don't forget your brayers and your foam rollers. If you need the stencil, the cuddle stencil is that essential stencil, but use code jamierayvintage to save 10%. Jack's showing you his ninja skills. Um, make sure you hit the notifications button. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. DIY. <laughs> See you guys. Bye guys. Love you. Bye. Oh.